Hello everybody. Um, the project we have for today is um, programming a TPMS sensor. We have to replace uh, the four all new TPMS sensor on the tires. And uh, we're going to do a program for this in this Subaru Forester 2012. So first thing first, I'm gonna plug the my scanner. Uh, today I'm using a, a TPMS um, scanner like this one, this model is um, the Autels TS608. And then we go to the program. Um, we also gonna turn on the, the switch. We're gonna turn the ignition switch on in order to get a connection, with the Bluetooth connection with the dongle. And we already go to um, the tire, um, a tire shop and have all four um, sensors installed. So what I'm about to do is connect my scanner and I'm gonna start looking for the model of this car. Sorry about that, I get in the wrong option. So we're gonna, you can do a search in this case. I'm gonna put this S like S, like Subaru. And we wanna look for our model of the car. We wanna program the sensors. So at this point, we still got the, the flat tire signal, uh, I mean flat tire, uh, light on the dash and then I just gotta find the right model Subaru and I'm gonna go to automatic detection of the being number um, I'm gonna go out and go in again to to get the skewer out of the way and you can simply press the press the down arrow that you see in the keyboard I just went in again and now I'm gonna do read I'm gonna hit read and this scanner automatically will detect if the vehicle offer that option it will automatically detect the bin and now um so i'm accessing to diagnostic uh with the tool and once again I'm, what we're doing today is um programming the new sensors to work with this vehicle and get rid of that um flat tire signal um that uh, i mean that flat tire set, um, signal that displays on the dashboard and it's going to take a little um a few seconds to connect uh sometimes it takes more than is expected but the results for this is okay you see we can see all the vehicle information it's a forester uh, 2012 we hit okay once we confirm all the information then it's gonna go to the um, to the system, so it will tell you what kind of sensor it uses. Uh, it's a um, 315 megahertz. That's the kind of sensor we already installed it to. So we're gonna right now we're going to proceed uh, to trigger the signal of the sensors uh, to collect the information of the sensor which is the ID of the sensors these are made so you have you hit the button here trigger and then you get you see that yellow sign on the top of the of the scanner then that's the one that would detect the signal of the sensor so as you can see I got the first one you start on the driver front um, on the driver side on the front tire and then you go to the passenger front uh, tire will be the next one so you hit trigger again and then you get it closer, you get that antenna closer to the sensor and it will detect it. Because the sensors are new, it's not taking so long to detect them. The battery status and everything is okay. So we trigger the third, which is on the passenger backside. So this machine is letting you know what to do. You see how fast I got it now? So I'm getting the IDs of every single sensor once i finish to getting all the ids so i'm gonna trigger right now um the last one so you hit button trigger you get it closer see how quick it is um now i collect all the information so what i'm going to proceed next is um as you can see i got everything i'm gonna proceed to do the obd programming for this and what you do next you got you gotta go back into the car and look for the option um so i'm seeing the different options i have here on the top and 
because you already collect the information you don't need anything else so all you have to do is hit relearn as i'm gonna do right now and the best options that i recommend you there is a manual that you can put these instructions how to put it in relearn mode the car but if you don't want to get your life complicated you hit obd relearn that's you want to choose obd relearn you hit that and the scanner it will start to communicate with the vehicle so you're going to have to be patient because this step it takes a uh, it takes some time to be honest with you in the meantime i'm telling you the the kind you see the light right there working or blinking so in the meantime i'll tell you the sensors i got i got it from amazon so you can search for different uh, sensors uh, but you always make sure to type and write the right model that they fit in the model of the car you, you're buying for. Finally, you will see the lights blink and go out, as you just saw right there. And you will have this message saying, oh, we did relearn, okay. So this is it, the light has gone, and now the car uh, TPMS sensor, um, sensor model is monitoring properly the air sensor in the tire. Uh, they are sending the right signal um, to that and you won't have that light again so thank you for watching i hope this video helped you see you next time